starting out here with a six by six cradled birch board and I'm going to add about four or five coats of encaustic medium that's been tinted uh, white or uh, cream color. Then I'm going to go ahead and fuse it really flat so there's no uh, lumps or bumps or air bubbles. So this is some encaustic paints that I've made right here in the studio and you can learn how to make your own encaustic colors uh, in your own studio in the new online workshop. And these little color cakes can be melted right on your heated surface and you can begin painting with them. So now I'm just painting very abstractly using these little color cakes and uh, just mostly trying to get some uh, nice color down on my board. And as I go along, I'm fusing each color to the surface as I go. Okay, so now I'm just taking a decorative stencil and uh, I'm almost dry brushing this part on. It's not, the brush isn't quite dry, but it's been sitting out of the medium for a minute, so it's not uh, so liquidy that it's going to seep underneath, the medium's not going to seep underneath the stencil and make a mess. Uh, and also, if you want to keep your stencil nice, you may want to use uh, an oil paint stick for this part instead of the wax medium. Now I'm going to go ahead and fuse these polka dots. Just taking a clay tool here and incising some lines all around my polka dots and some maybe some extra mark making as well. And here is the super fun part experimenting with uh, graphite powder. I just poured some out onto a scratch paper and I'm using a really soft brush to get that all into the incised lines and uh, just rubbing it all over and just a little tip the graphite is really really messy so you may you see I put my gloves on now uh, you may want to wear gloves and really make sure that your uh, surface is you know protected with something that you can just throw away afterwards like a sheet of paper or wax paper or a the craft paper like I have here on my work table. So now I've cleaned some of the graphite off just putting some vegetable oil uh, on a baby wipe and just getting some of that excess uh, graphite off. And here I've made a few extra incised lines and now I'm just really uh, going for it. I'm covering the entire uh, surface with a lot of the graphite powder and just really uh, working it with the brush inside all the lines. And what a mess it makes. But just a few baby wipes and just a little dab of vegetable oil and it comes right off. And then of course the uh, dark stays in all the uh, incised lines that were made and uh, you can just pretty much clean off what you want and reveal uh, the parts that you want to reveal and keep the uh, graphite on the rest.
And once it's all cleaned off, then just giving it a final fuse and fusing all that wonderful graphite into the board.